Aquarius, on August 2nd until September 27th, Mars will move through your 11th house. The 11th house actually connects naturally to your sign because it's all about innovation. It's all about groups, humanitarian endeavors, and just social networking. So with Mars moving through this area of your chart, you're going to have plenty of energy and ambition to pursue a humanitarian endeavor, a group project, some kind of workshop, or maybe an internet-related endeavor, such as a website or a, a social media campaign, YouTube videos, webinars, anything that is online will be very successful now because you have nothing but pure ambition to make it succeed. Also, on August 24th, Mars will connect to Saturn in this area of your chart. So, if you and a friend have reached a stalemate, now you're able to kind of work through it and push past it. If there is a significant personal aspiration that you're trying to build a foundation on, now Mars will help you get the job done. So this is wonderful. On August 5th until August 29th, Venus will move into your eighth house. And now you have the opportunity to make serious bank. The money that comes your way is not from your paycheck. It's from investments, from other people, inheritance, uh, settlements, royalties, taxes, insurance payouts, any type of money that is just somebody writes you a check and hands it to you, that's eighth house money, also venture capital. So now Venus will be there and Jupiter will actually still be there, hanging out for a little while longer. So with these two planets of luck and blessings in your eighth house, I know you're going to benefit financially in August. Then, the end of the month, August 29th, Venus will move into your ninth house and you'll be focused more on maybe be making travel plans with your sweetheart or an educational pursuit that you've always wanted to take on and you'll be able to learn something new that you love without inhibition. Finally, on August 30th until September 22nd, Mercury will retrograde. Now, here's what's interesting. Mercury goes retrograde in your eighth house. So you're having all these luck and blessings in the eighth house with shared money and resources, but then Mercury will go retrograde, saying, wait a minute, slow your roll, and make sure that you're doing the right thing with this money. Because if you don't, it could blow up in your face. Now that you know your signs forecast for this month, be sure to watch more videos with me right now at tarot.com.